This isn't sponsored. Ooh, bitch, that would have been bad if that spilled. <laughs> hey, girl. Cleavalka. <clears throat> and in this reading, I'm going to be providing you your general reading for this week. And like with any type of general reading, Cancer, I want you to rely on your intuition a little bit because I could be using an example because I speak in analogies whenever I give readings. I'm very analytical. Um, whenever I'm doing readings, I like to give an analogy. So I could be using the analogy of a relationship, but how the cards will be pertaining to you could be pertaining to a work situation, right? So I'm going to be pulling three rows for you. The first row is going to be what you were, the energies that you currently have been dealing with and were dealing with. Um, your middle row is going to be the energies and the blessings to come. And then your last row, Cancer, is going to be the energies that um, really it's just suggestion from spirit to, of how to receive these blessings that are going to be coming into your life. Suggestions from spirit of where, how to maneuver in this week of what to currently work on in yourself, right? Because I feel like it's no, there's no purpose in me providing, um, any type of insight if you're not given some advice on how to get there, how to work on these energies, right? Because the end of the future is never solid. So... Um, if this reading is of resonance to you, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below how this reading resonates with you. Um, I always like to know in, um, which card calls out to people the most and how it resonates with them because it's always just such a unique message. Uh, so yeah, Cancer, let's just jump into your reading right now. I'm going to be pulling more clarifiers as I feel that it's necessary. Um, so let's just get into your first row right now. We have the Two of Earth, the Three of Air, and the Three of Earth. I'm going to be showing the cards as I go through them. So the Two of Earth is just talking. This is more so just an adjustment of energies, Cancer. I feel like you have recently been just in a point of where, like, you've been dealing with some stuff. I don't know if you, um... I say dealing with some stuff, but I don't even feel like there's, like, anything in specific. Because when I think of, like, stuff... I just like my whole body just starts aching so that kind of just signifies to me that um just overall just dealing with some stuff like I feel like because with the three of air as well it's talking about some sadness I feel like maybe for some people um and obviously I'm not here to like y'all don't come here to just for me to tell you that you're depressed or anything like that but I feel like this is very much so the energy of how I would relate to where it's like maybe you're not feeling depressed cancer but like and maybe you don't even know what necessarily is wrong with you, if there is anything wrong with you. Um, not that there is, but it's just like, you. this is just kind of, you've been feeling kind of down recently. So Spirit this week is really trying to suggest to you, trying to like light the spark into you, because we have the Three of Earth as well, asking you to look into your creative side a little bit and start working. You know, it talks about uh, being a team player, and I kind of feel like, it's involving being a team player with your spirit guides this week, Cancer. Um, the card that I pulled for you um, for some clarifiers were the Hanged Man, the Four of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. So definitely for some people in Cancer, some of this disappointment actually is from like a very specific situation. For some people, I'm hearing like a job situation, like, um, I don't think fired necessarily, but like, there's some kind of stress, something big happening at work that's like a stressor for some of you cancers. Um, for other people, this is very much so just the energy of someone that disappointed you, someone that really hurt your feelings, someone that really, I don't know, you're just like maybe still in the process of working through these emotions and that's kind of what I'm feeling for your two of earth, three of air, and three of earth cancer. You're kind of just processing emotions right now. Whatever your situation is, you're just in a situation where you're just kind of processing it and you just don't know really where to go. Maybe that's why you kind of feel like you've been in like a loop recently, cancer perhaps, or maybe not in like a loop per se, but just like not really going in and you feeling like you don't have much of any kind of direction. Some more clarifiers for you. I pulled the Pueo card, Cancer, and this card comes forward and kind of like as affirmation for what I was talking about with the Three of Earth, where I was just like, this card talks about being a team player, Cancer. The Pueo card comes in as like a, this is a card comes in, I always see this as the uh, card that will be thrown out when your spirit guides and ancestors especially want to connect with you. I'll read off the card, but like, um, just keep in mind intuitively like I have like a completely different meaning to like all these cards and so it's just like I know this card comes forward whenever like someone's like there's a direct calling to someone like some of you cancers need to really connect to your spirit guides or your ancestors for some people maybe you need to like go to your ancestry maybe you like look back in your history family history and see if there's like someone that um, like a past relative that you could connect to or something. But yeah, the Pueyo card says your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance right now. So pay close attention to signs and omens from them. So yeah, it's kind of like a summary of what I said already. But uh, 
um, I kind of view this as a sign because I don't really want you to just be like, oh, just look for a sign because I kind of feel like this energy is like a someone that you haven't really worked with before. So you don't know what sign to really look for. You'll know the sign once you're able to start connecting with this energy and be able to recognize it to something and be like, oh, like this spirit guide comes whenever um, ladybugs show up for an example. Um, so I don't really want to talk about looking for an omen right now, but more so like is getting into like a meditative space and seeing if there's like an energy that you can connect to Cancer. Going on though, Emu, this card talks about being a good time of taking um, going on an adventure of some sort, but I kind of just, uh, when I saw that card, I see nature and I keep, I don't know if your reading was the one before Cancer or where I was suggesting for someone to go, some zodiac sign to go out in nature, but, um, with the gorilla card as well, I'm going to read this card before I show it to you. Take the time to listen compassionately to those around you, especially your family members. I feel almost as if, yeah, like this is giving me like a, obviously an analogy, something that's not really realistic for a lot of people, but like, this is kind of like a family retreat, um, going on like a family retreat or something. So maybe like for some people, um, the situation kind of touches on with the Eight of Swords and the Four of Swords energy. Maybe not, not like really like a backstabbing, like I don't feel like a backstabbing malevolent energy has happened to you, Cancer. I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below in your life situationally, but I feel like this energy is more so just like a, you're just, just disappointment in general just happened for you. So, um, yeah, let's just go into your second row. So yeah, like your first row overall, you're just processing emotion. So let's see what we can do. Let's see what's, what energy is to come for you, Cancer. Because I feel like you're already kind of like, you don't need any more guidance on that. I feel like you already are figuring that kind of stuff out. You're figuring out your way in that regard. So uh, for your second row, we have the Four of Swords, the five of coins and then the star card and for some clarifiers that i already pulled out i pulled the world card archangel michael number 10 write that down for numerology um i think that would equal to one uh cancer but uh yeah we have the four swords so this right here you're coming at peace with something. This kind of tells me the story of like what I feel like is addressing in your first row cancer of like the, pro the emotions that you're processing. This right here is a card that's telling me that you are processing these emotions. And it's almost as if like, there's like a release of some sort. Five of coins. Now this release is going to be situational for a lot of people, right? In different ways. For some people, this is talking about in a work environment. Maybe you either are having the release of, um, maybe that job moving on to another job new position in that job or you're releasing the old mindset that you had with this job so whereas before you felt stuck in it you're coming to this you came at peace with working this nine to five because it's like you see the nine to you see the nine to five you're working the nine to five to help support your dream rather than it being whatever right you make the best of it and you come at peace with it so you continue doing it sort of thing right for some people when it comes to like a social 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 situation hello um, same kind of vibe where it's like, and this could be reverse. Either someone's letting go of you or you're letting go of somebody else cancer. Um, and you're moving on to a new connection that's meaningful because we have the star card or, um, you're learning to come at peace with the situation, with this person, with their attributes, right? Because the star card is also like for this card, uh, deck in specific, it's very cleansing as well. When you have like this four of energy four swords energy in this this is just like a it's a everything is from a very calm steady place like you're not taking it personal anymore and that's kind of why you have like the gorilla card kind of driving you in and trying to how you spend time with them cancer so like i really just don't get like a negative vibe in that so for your clarifiers we have the seven seven of water stop procrastinating so it's almost as if like for some of you guys, yeah, this is like, you guys have just kind of been processing these emotions for a little bit too long. You've been in this loop for a little bit, perhaps. Um, I feel like you just need to like, you don't want to, you're in this loop perhaps because like, if you have to fully acknowledge it and like address it, that's kind of giving it life. And then you actually have to stomach what's actually happened, right? And what that actually means in your life. Um, three cards came out for you. So we have the planet platypus, the woman's wisdom. For some people, maybe you need to, I just randomly heard connecting with to your mother. Um, <laughs> so maybe for some people in cancer that you need to connect to your mother, number 24, equaling to six for numerology, write that down, cancer. Um, your second animal card, number 19, equaling to one, write that down. 
um, the strength card, ant. So shadow work, heavy shadow work, which I feel like makes sense for you. Um, the situation caused you, triggered something in you to do some shadow work. I'm doing, I'm tapping your first door if you can't tell, Cancer. Um, and then your last card, your animal, last animal card is number five. Write that down, Cancer. Concealment. So something comes into play. Yeah, like, I feel like something already came. I don't feel like this is foreshadowing into anything, Cancer. I feel like this, like, something happened to where it's just like, oh, that's disappointing. Something happened where, like, I'll, I don't want to say out of the blue, but it's just like seemingly out of character or somebody that disappointed you or some situation just like out of the blue, like really just disappointed you or just frustrating you, bringing you down. Um, we have the wheel card, Archangel Michael. This card is talking about kind of like a decision again, like you are making the choice of turning this wheel whichever way. For some people also, I just feel drawn to say like, I always suggest for people to work with Archangel Michael whenever he comes through. So if you feel strongly called to him, Cancer, do that. Um, but when it's paired with the Five of Coins card, this is kind of telling me where it's just like, you kind of know the choice that you need to make. You need to release something or come to terms with something and you have to make that choice of that because it's like how you choose to make this make of some type of situation going on this week for you cancer um or how do, i don't feel i feel like this already happened so it's more so how you choose to handle it this week the, the energy this week whether you choose to acknowledge it and handle it or ignore it for another week whatever um it's going to be what is like the turning tides for you in your situation in your future because we have the two of airs talking about being unwilling or unable to make a decision as well like you there's just like you just don't want to make a decision on something because you know it hurts you know it hurts and it's going to hurt and it's going to like drastically change your life in some type of way so it's going to be different for everybody, right? So like, obviously, if you're quitting a job, that's going to be pretty drastic. If you're going to be leaving like a significant other, that's going to be drastic, right? For, you know, it's just a drastic time for you. I do not envy you guys at all. But full moon in Libra, it's a win-win out forecast. So you really you just need to make a decision. You have your spirit guides on your side. So if you, if you had a better connection to your spirit guides I'm getting, you wouldn't be nearly as stressed out about the situation as you are right now. The reason why you're feeling stressed and extra anxious right now is because you're not well enough connected to your spirit guides. I know it's easier for me to say right now, <laughs> reading the cards than actually experiencing the situation and the emotions of it. But I'm telling you, if I were to be having this kind of spread for myself when dealing with my situation, that's how I would process the emotions and how I would process these cards coming forward to you. But yeah, full moon in Libra, win win outcome. You just need to really need to make a decision. Um, one more moon card for you. Um, your hard work is paying off. This card keeps coming up. New moon and Capricorn. Um, a lot of zodiac signs have been like, there's been like a buildup. Um, and I feel like for you, Cancer, it's just kind of like your hard work is going to more so be about um, the investment that you put into yourself. You're very close to achieving your goal. Give us moon. So yeah, like paired with the Capricorn new moon as well, your hard work is paying off. Like for some people, maybe this is just like the light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe like a long-term project going to come into completion. Um, for your last row, we have the Necronomicon one, which is where it's like advice from spirit of what you can be working on. So we have the Fool card, the Two of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. To me, this is going to be about uh, not doing like a react emotional reaction towards somebody so really how i see this as it's like a not reacting emotionally off of like <sighs> there's a saying here and i'm going to only say it once because i don't want to like get in trouble from youtube but there's like a saying from somebody that i don't remember where it's like you can tell someone to fuck off later or to, you know it's like you can tell someone to fuck off tomorrow i don't know how many more times i can say that when i said i didn't want to say it more than once but that's the kind of logic that i feel like the quote that you need to take this week is that you can tell someone to f off tomorrow um this is that kind of energy you don't want to react you want to think things through you don't want to end up being boo boo the fool right because it may feel good in that moment stabbing them but then you're gonna realize later on it's like oh wait a minute that was a mistake <laughs> again obviously necronomicon's graphic but stabbing is like the analogy or like metaphor for i don't need to explain myself y'all get y'all get me y'all get me so for your last card overall energy you need to take a rest 
yeah, take a rest, take a reset. Don't get out of your mind, really, Cancer. And I feel like that'll be invaluable to you. Um, but yeah, that was the reading that I have for you, Cancer. Again, remember, let me know which card resonated with you the most, which one called out to you the most. I would love to hear about it. Um, please give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel, Cancel. How it does help out my channel, Cancer. <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you for allowing me to, to do this reading for you and being patient with me not being able to speak apparently. I hope I can have the privilege of reading you again at some other point. I love you so much, Cancer. Bye.